What'd you find, bro? Ooh, sorry. You got the kid. No way. You got the mother. You got okay. The mother. Dude, there's so much things on this floor. This is a really old paper. Yeah. Maybe it's when like they some they ran away or something. I can't fully close right now, but if it were, you can hardly notice it. Now this is the main secret room. Really quick, I just want to say a big shout out and warm welcome to this week's Patreon supporter, Nikki Watts. Thank you so much. If you wish to support the channel, definitely head over to the Patreon page and receive a shout out and extra bonus content. Link down in the description. What is good, you guys? I'm super excited today. But before we begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Steve Ronan, and we go on Epic Adventures every single week. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the notification button bell. Today, we're going to be exploring this amazing, pristine mansion. Everything is left inside which is what I love, and it's like European or French architecture that you're gonna be seeing all around this building. It's pretty dope, we woke up pretty early, so if we look at a mess right now, that's why. Yeah. Plus we got lockdown going on, you know, look at the hair growing. 4 a.m. wake up. Look at that. No haircuts. No haircuts at all, that's why I got the hat. I kinda like it, what do you guys think? To give you guys a rundown on the history, I'm just gonna make it really brief. It's kinda vague, there's like, Different stories here and there popping up. The first story goes like this. This place was built around the late 1800s, like 1896. It was built by a French family that came from France and moved here. Now, this French family, they had like a bunch of kids. There's so many rooms with like kid stuff left behind that you're gonna be seeing. Um, one of their daughters traveled to France to visit their family relatives and she met a dude there. She came back from France Found out she was pregnant and called the guy up and told him about it. The guy came here, lived here in this mansion for three years with her. Eventually, you know, she had a kid, obviously, and I guess there were some issues going on between the girlfriend and boyfriend. The boyfriend took their kid and left to another country. We don't know which country it is. Some say it's back to France. Um, there's and another is saying that there was like a third world country that they went to. The mother of the daughter. Yeah, the mother of the daughter like she woke up, up yeah. and she's like, oh my gosh, where's my kid? She was frantic and she went looking for them. And I guess, yeah, until this day, this is why this place was abandoned because um, their daughter left. But it doesn't really explain what happened previously to like- All the, the family. Yeah, all the family members. So, yeah, that part is left out. There's also, as we're gonna be going through here, there's actually a lot of pictures of one room of the whole entire thing. Yeah, and there's tons of pictures. Did you happen to see like a daughter pic? We can look. Yeah, we're gonna look <laughs> and hopefully find more evidence of what could have happened here. Now, the second story goes like this. The family used to live here around the early 1900s. Uh, the father and the wife, they were having issues. They weren't getting along that much. Um, eventually, the father took their daughter and went back to France, and the mother went to go find them, and eventually leaving this place abandoned. But if you dig deep online, you're gonna find a little bit of information about this place. I don't wanna say too much about it, but basically it talks about tax evasion. So the family that used to live here basically couldn't pay their bills, they couldn't pay their taxes, and Or they yeah. just chose not to. <laughs> or they just chose not to, and just decided to go back to France, where they were, where they were born and have family relatives to live with. So that's that's the gist of it guys. Um, throughout this video though we're gonna be exploring, trying to find some clues and evidence of what really could have happened here. I think you guys are gonna like it a lot, but I'm gonna stop rambling right now. Before we begin the adventure, smash the thumbs up and also check out the merch guys. Hoodie links down below in the description. Also check out Radic too. Instagram link down below. Let's go. Before we begin the video, I just want to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor, Babbel, the number one language learning app in the world. 
Funny enough, they hit me up in the perfect time as we are exploring an abandoned French mansion today and I do plan to travel to France and I definitely need to learn some of the language. I also don't have the time to hire a tutor and it saves me money in the end. Not to mention we got social distancing going on. And this is the perfect way to keep yourself safe while still learning. I really like Babel because it outdoes the competition. There's no ads, they make you learn situations you will actually encounter in real life, and university studies have shown that 15 hours of Babel is equivalent to a semester of college. This is because with Babel you can count on people who have actual experience teaching languages, while other apps use machine learning, algorithm, and AI technology. Sign up now with the link below to get 50% off. Now let's begin the adventure. Au revoir. So we're gonna work our way from the top to the bottom because there's so many good stuff downstairs. We're gonna save the best for last. But upstairs too, there's a lot of unique things. This is mainly where the kids used to stay. There's some bedrooms here with pictures and toys and some desks like you're seeing right here. You see how small it is? I can tell that used to be like a kid's study table. And it looks like some of the schoolwork is about physics. Yeah, let's check out some of the homework. So crazy to check out his paperwork. It's one of the kids' toys. Stuff animal. I've never seen this little chair before. But yeah. I mean, look at the height of these ceilings. I really feel claustrophobic just exploring the top floor right now. It's super small. Whoa, look at this door. I almost missed this. There's a closet. It's pretty nice. I'm sure a lot of you who are watching from Europe are kind of familiar with this architecture and so used to it, but Considering that this is in America, it makes it super unique to explore. We got Radic here. What'd you find, bro? Ooh. Story. We got the kid. No way. We got way. the mother. We got okay. The mother. We got the kid here. The mother in this picture. But sure, that's the mother. I, I, yeah. Dude, I mean, the mom it's looks the same, young. It's the same person in all these three photos. But then I don't know what this is. This is another family, another kid, or. It could even be the parents of this. Right. Wait, that could be the same kid. Different race here, like another ethnicity. Really? This. Yeah, look. This, this does not look like like the white French family here. How? Could be this, this some friends of theirs. It could be friends of theirs, yeah, or friends in France. Because I feel like some of these photos aren't even from the States. Mm. Some of them look like they weren't even taken in the States. Um, like, <laughs> look at this. This is like Moscow. Yeah. These photos look, don't, they don't look old they look at all. They look very new. It's That's the a good thing, because I think, I read some of this place has only been abandoned for 15 years. Really? Which might explain why it's in such good condition, or was in such good condition before people started actually coming here. A lot of random pictures of friends and family, and then, but the only things that match up to the story are these. It's yeah, the this, same, this the girl. Same, same kid, same woman. Mm-hmm. And all these, that's one here, here, here. So these are like actual old photos, I think. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, these are, no, these are the same. They're all blurry though, really, really blurry. <laughs> that's probably the camera they were using. Yeah. Man, it's so weird seeing like the family photos. So that, was, that looks like the daughter that got pregnant. Yeah, I think so. If that's even a true story. I want to find like the date. That could be on the back of the photos. Or maybe this album. June. This one. Oh, no, that's not a. 
two and a half weeks. Oh, the baby was, uh, like two and a half weeks? June 95, or I don't know. June 95. I think that's probably a 15. And no, it looks like 95. It looks like a 95, which is weird. Guys, so this place could have been abandoned in the early 2000s. I mean, by the looks of it, it looks like they had like a, a pretty good lifestyle. I mean, everyone seems happy. People are going to events, people are traveling. Like, it's so weird to think about like why they would just leave this place. They just left their old life behind. Oh, we got an old cassette player right here. And cassette tapes with it. Eric Clapton, Michael Jackson, Billy Joel. Check out this old door cell battery, guys. You don't see stuff like this anymore. It's huge. Oof, man. This bathroom is nice. I love the colors of the walls here. And even the, how the bathtub looks, it's very European. Yeah, this would be this is gonna be a good photo. Nothing too interesting in this room. That looks pretty neat though. I'm not sure where this door could have came from. to the second floor. This mansion is it's really, really big. If you guys been enjoying this video so far? Leave a comment down below or leave a comment in the premiere chat. I think I'm gonna be talking like, I'm talking to the premiere chat from now on in the explorations so I can kind of communicate with you guys too. I'll probably be in the chat room as well, just typing away. Come say hi. Oh, this is a big mattress. This could have been the parents' room. It's weird to me that there's no bed frames, just the mattresses in the rooms. Ooh, there's a fireplace. I wonder if it's a working one. Yeah, it is. It's pretty nice. Pretty simple looking. Yeah, I feel like, you know, this is this kind of gives us a hint to when this place was abandoned. You only see TVs like this nowadays from the 90s. Oh man, it smells in here, guys. Probably because I'm right next to the bathroom. This room is pretty random. I'm pretty sure they were doing some renovation here because as you saw in that room the floors looks like it was being worked on oh I didn't see that earlier it's like a Japanese lantern looks like a blueprint you can hardly recognize it with all the dirt and mold growing Whoa, I'm loving these bathtubs. I mean, look at that. This bathroom really gives like a nice home vibe. Love the pastel wallpaper. You got some cool artifacts right there on the shelf. What's this? Brand is called Revox. I'm just imagining a nice relaxing bath right now. Interesting. These aren't blood samples. They were mostly used for 
tissues and organs and to be looked at through a microscope lots of yarn Radic? Yeah. I thought I heard someone talking. I was talking. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. It's creepy, like, it should be. Dude, there's so much things on this floor. Especially this room. Did you go inside here? I did not see that suitcase without your lights. Holy crap. Yeah, that's good. So it's in here. There's also some like, shoes out here that have like snakeskin. We got a snakeskin. It's weird. Really? Wait, in this room? Nah, some other room. We got a fireplace. Like, inside of a fireplace. This room. I don't know what this room could have been. Probably an office. Yeah, oh yeah. Just the uh, office cabinets. So many. So many bathrooms and bedrooms. Dude, offices usually hold a safe, so there could be a safe in here. Yeah, that's not what we're getting into that. I think it's right there. Nah, nah. <laughs> no, this is like a file file safe. For like Never know. Yeah, this is nothing. There's some really nice boots in this room, though. One over there, too, by the window. Camouflaging with the wall. Old fashioned Legos. <laughs> I was gonna say that, dude. Some old Legos. If you guys happen to know what this is, leave a comment down below. Could have been a daughter's room for sure. There's pads here. There are pads. Unused. Bones. Dude, is that a bone? Those are bones, yeah. Dog bones though, right? Probably dog bones. For like chewing? Mm-hmm. So they had a dog. They did. They probably did. With a yard like this. Oh yeah, there was a dog in the picture too. True. Must have been a big dog. Now this room. Yeah. Oh yeah, they did from here. That's mm -hmm. a cool dress. Look at that. It's a nice like dress. A green and blue. I don't see that often. No one does. Those colors aren't really like. Dude, I bet these clothes were really expensive back in the day. Maybe. Just check the tag. This room looks really creepy, bro. It's like a homeless person lives here. Oh yeah, no, that's the one I was scared about. Like, we should watch our back. There could be someone in here. You know what I've been noticing? It's like all these bedrooms, you there's notice, no bed frames. Do you notice how um, there is literally like crumbles of ceiling all over the place, but not on the bed? Yeah. It's also like that downstairs for some of the chairs. Like the fancy chairs. I feel like those could be explorers though, keeping it clean probably, for photos. Probably. <laughs> but this is kind of strange. Like someone this is, this could is be living, living here. here. And you got like the like the makeshift keyboard right there. It's still mad <laughs> dirty though. I mean, look look at that mattress. Yeah, that's no, nasty. It's gross. No way. Yeah, makeshift keyboard. It's like cut in half. <laughs> this room on the other side is really nothing. What's this thing right here? Is this like for a piano? I don't know what that is. I don't think that's for pianos. Um, oh, it could be a heating system. Maybe yeah, possibly. Because there's a little dial here. I don't know what this is, honestly. First bed frame I'm seeing. Here it is. We even got some skis, like old school ones. Yeah. I don't really ski, Radic, so like I, how old do you think these are? I think they're like 1980s, 1990s. Because they don't look like... They're really weird though. I've, oh, these are cross-country skis, I think. Yeah? Judging by the look of these, yeah. I don't know if these are meant for... I mean, they're, they, look way, like, they look way crazy. Oh. I think these are cross-country skis. I don't think these were meant for actual, like, crazy downhills. I 
I'm digging how this wall looks. <laughs> this could be used for a backdrop. So we're almost down to the main floor. This is the last room over here. I haven't opened this though. This could be a bathroom. Oh, it's locked tight. I'm not sure what could be in there, but someone tried barging in. This room is really nice. Definitely a female's room. You got a huge fireplace, and your own balcony too. And I'm seeing a lot of kids' toys. So this could have been like the daughter's room. Look at that huge plushy seal. Let's see what they were reading. Birthing from within. A landmark in the history of childbirth. This book definitely belonged to the daughter that got pregnant. So right by this pink fireplace, you got some shoes. Look at that, snakeskin boots. Those are made of real snakeskin. I like how there's beams. But I don't want to be walking out there. There is an active street and there's people walking around outside that will be able to see us. So I'm not going to take the chances. Yo, through this corner right here I saw a message. This is kind of hidden. Oh, it's poetry by Boots. We're all damaged is how we still Love with a broken heart that matters. I can't believe she's been here. I've seen her stuff like as far as Chicago. That's just too many things. Here's more shoes. All the females watching right now, would you love this to be your room? I can just imagine how nice it used to look. Hey, we got a baby gate right here. This just confirms it even more. Or maybe it could have been used for the dog. Or both. Oh my gosh. Look at the ceiling too. Oh, if only the chandelier was still here. Man, this ceiling is rotting away. Oh, it's gonna be so sad when it falls down. That is beautiful. Save the best for last guys. All these rooms are incredible. There's some paintings on the walls that you won't believe. Like, it looks absolutely amazing. This place used to never look like this. Like, this was really cleaned up before. Some people must have came here and just wrecked this main hallway. There's actually statue parts. It's a statue part right there. And the rest of the statue no. is actually over here in this room. And it's almost intact. Half of it is intact. And the other half is here. Damn, we'll check this room out later, guys. But, wow. People are already coming in here and breaking stuff. This is kind of why I leave places, like, really secretive. Hopefully that's it. Like... Nah, there's graffiti on the mirror right no. there. <laughs> Someone came in and started spray painting. There's also graffiti Dang. on some walls upstairs. I found some. At least it's just a little bit. Yeah. 
The library is perfectly intact. Yeah, but give it like maybe a year or two, and this place might be uh, really depends, messed up. Depends who finds it, who comes in here. These Polaroids, Kodak pictures. I, don't know. I think they are. They're like mini Kodaks. Yeah, but I think they're destroyed. No. Can't even see what no, these pictures used to look that's like. Wait, well, you have to shine a light, right? Yeah. It's a little bit destroyed though. A little bit. But, oh, is that, it's a statue. Is it a statue? It's, it's oh, a, it's yeah, a it is a body. statue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of those. They're like, I even saw it. Why are they taking pictures of the I statues? Maybe this is like, you know, what is that? It's like a red fence. It looks like, like snake Wait, skin. How come the red is showing up in the picture? Whoa. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. It's, they're black and white, right? Well, let's see this one. What's this? It's like a bottle, but you're holding it upside down. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Is it? Yeah, it looks like a bottle. Dude, what could this mean? I don't know. They might have been. Could be clues, stuff. dude. <laughs> to what? Maybe the husband like left clues like, come find me. Jesus. <laughs> so far, we got a mannequin, a bottle. That looks like another statue. With a yeah, it looks like another statue. Oh, well, this one's red. That one's really red. What is that though? I don't know. Creepy. Some of these photos are creepy. Another mannequin statue. Yo, someone's just obsessed with mannequins. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, there's some more photos right here. Same girl that had her baby. Oh, is it? I think so. Oh yeah, yeah, the one in the back with the blonde hair. Yeah, with the ribbon. That could have been the mom right there too. Maybe. No, that, no. Looks, that looks like the mom. Are you? That no, looks like the no, same no, woman. No, no, they look the same age. That's terrifying. I don't know about that. As you can see, this living area is massive, and I'm loving how these doors are made of glass and just brings in so much natural lighting. Oh my gosh. This is really cool, you guys. I love finding libraries in abandoned houses or mansions. This is so pristine. Just mind blows me. Now, I've been to bigger mansions with libraries, but this is very unique at its own. Loving the fireplace. It was very simple, yet unique. Oh, I almost didn't look up to see this. This is incredible. You see this in a lot of mansions in Europe. Just open one of the books here in the library and this book is really cool guys the elements of Japanese design and they have the symbols of like right yeah clans and samurai clans all of them dude that's crazy I need to get a some Japanese symbol Cause I'm the yeah, some yeah, you should. dude we got the we got the Triforce <laughs> Dude, that's sick. Have you seen Naruto? Of course. Dude, it's kind of reminds you of the Sharing Guns. Nah, yeah, I know. That's what everybody says when they see these things, but it's not. These are Japanese clans. I, 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 I bet. I think this is, one of them is the Mori clan, but I don't know which one. It's like, I think with all the dots around it. Dude. I know some of the clans, not all of them. Only the that's so ones. cool. I like that one. I like that one too. I mean, they're, they're so sick. Like these, I don't know who came up with these designs back then. Right? There's so many designs. I didn't know there was this many. I only knew a few of them that I see like commonly. But I don't know if I can recognize any. I know, I know Miyoshi. But yeah, they had a lot of Japanese books, guys. I'm seeing Memoirs of a Geisha right here. It's pretty comfy. Found this letter. It says, hello, does anyone live here? I want to explore, but also respect privacy. I'll check for an answer in the mailbox. Steve. Yeah? Come check this out. Cool. Yeah, so somebody 
Wow. We got this whole entire mansion and all the chandeliers have been ripped off, but this one still remains. That's the surviving one. Yep. Dude, this room is like really pristine. I mean, there's a lot of tough right behind you. <laughs> Besides that. Establishing homework right there too. Yeah. And this is the uh, statue that was broken and there's actually um, writing inside of it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I wonder how they knew about the writing. I don't think they did. They just broke it in. Wait, let's see. I was gonna show you that. But yeah, look. It's like inscribed letters everywhere. Whoa. And then the rest of the statue is right. Dude. Man, this this is was handmade. They broke this. I don't know what this was, but this is the remain of it. As part of it? Yep. Hmm. Do you think it was one of those photos? It looks like the it looks like that bottle from the photo. It might have been one of the photos. It looks really really similar. Oh yeah. Bro, it looks so like mystical in a way. Yeah. Like some ancient artifact. Oh, there's even more stuff here on the counter. We got a plane ticket, guys. It's been so long traveling, like I forgot about this stuff already. It's from Qantas Airways to. I don't know. Well, I found the name of the person that bought this ticket. I wouldn't film this. It has the address of this place on it. Yeah, I won't film that one. <laughs> but this dude flew from Melbourne to Brisbane. His seat was 4A. Economy class. Oh, oh man. Come on. You live in a mansion to economy? Dude, this is probably why they like... Tax left evasion. the place. Yeah, this is <laughs> tax evasion written all over this. Oh, <laughs> economy, man. I mean, you live in a mansion, you take they economy. Didn't, they didn't take that ticket because it wouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they just have it here. Yeah. You know, look right here. We got some more of those tissue organ. I don't even know what to call them, guys. Cells, maybe. Yeah. But what's what's the, like the glass material called? Uh, Plates? Maybe I don't, I don't remember. Someone stacked them through the window so you can kind of see it properly. You need a microscope to see what that really is. I think. And more right here. So many of these. I'm starting to think that maybe the father or the mother was like a scientist or a doctor. Yeah, possibly. So right here it says Laboratory of Human Nutrition. Yeah. So. Maybe these could have been their patients and they're doing like some nutritional <laughs> testing for them. Nutritionists? Yeah, that's the title. One of my friends is studying for that. Nutritionists. Just, like, they know what's good for you. <laughs> I see. In terms of eating. <laughs> gotcha. I almost forgot this suitcase. Brand is Hartman Luggage. This is beautiful. Made of leather. And I love how the inside looks too. Really classy. That's pretty weird. This box has a person's hair. It really throws me off. This is a letter, by the way. And those are baby shoes. Yeah, it's the daughter. <laughs> They're just making the story even more realistic. You know, a suitcase. Yeah. What is this? Could it, it could be a letter from? Yeah, no. This is a, this is a really old paper. Yeah. Maybe it's when like they some they ran away or something. Maybe oh, whoa! Another. You don't write letters like this anymore. <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> it's like this. Wow. That's fancy. Oh, it's even got like what? I don't even understand it. I'm not even gonna try to read it. Let me see. It's all in cursive, so it's kinda of hard to make out. I can kinda of read cursive. <laughs> all bracket lights are on. All center lights. Oh man, yeah, yeah this is really hard to read. Gibberish. The back stair hall lights is on. Oh. This This must have been for someone that was coming here maybe. Like a housekeeper. Wait, it says Mrs. Lee's dressing room number four. 
Mr. Lee's room number four. Yeah, this could have been for like a housekeeper. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's fold this back up and keep it nice and safe. Dude, look at this old photo. From 1937. That looks pretty beautiful, man. I wonder what this is made of. So sparkly. <laughs> so many unique things in here. Ooh, a photo album. No. They went to Monkey Jungle. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that looks like the girl that it could be had her her baby. Some kid photos of her. Oh yeah. Alligators. Looks like the tropics or something. What is that creepy thing? <laughs> what is that? A, a it clay, looks fake. It looks like a version of her grandmother. Yeah, it looks like made of clay. I think that's it. Yeah. Poetry. I'm seeing a lot of books on arts and crafts and cooking and poetry. I guess that's what they were interested in. Alright, now this is either ivory. Dude! Or this is her school book, bro. Oh, this could be ivory. Bro, this is her school book. Is it? Yeah, I'm gonna blur out the important information here, but it says the high school right there. Oh. And then remember when you write your name and the date for it? Yeah. Oh my god. Dude, oh my god. So where, what years? 19... 1989. That's 1989. the latest date. That's, that's right. That's like a few years before this house went abandoned. Dude, this place has been abandoned for so long. It's been abandoned since like 1990 something. So that confirms it guys. Like the dates that we've been seeing in this abandoned mansion date around like the 90s, the late 90s. So this is, that's probably the year when this place got abandoned. And uh, we also saw a lot of pictures of a high school and a bunch of kids, and I yeah. think that's where this is from too. For sure, for sure, for sure. This has been their dining table, guys. And you can tell like an urban explorer came here because they set everything up for a photo. They even poured a glass of wine. You want to sip? You want to taste it? Oh, oh my god. I'll taste it. I'll taste it first. All right. Oh, never mind. Dude, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know if I want that now. Dude, <laughs> a close up of this. This looks like it's made of ivory. Could be, because it's kind of cracked in a weird way that... Yeah, so it's, it's sort of... An ivory is like a, some sort of bone, I think from an elephant? Yeah, elephant. And it's super, super expensive, and it's also... Fancy. Illegal. Government Cookbook, Volume 2. Let's see what kind of food. Stuffed peppers. We got marinated crabs. That sounds really good. I mean, it sounds like a Cape House kind of food. Stuffed eggs. You think this is French food? That looks like it is. <laughs> done here we have a couple more rooms to go we also found some secret rooms that you would have not been able to notice at all <laughs> like wait until you see them room is probably my favorite room right here it is just too gorgeous I love the green wallpaper all around it I love how the fireplace looks and then when you look up you just see this beautiful artwork on the ceiling of angels I don't feel like I'm in America at all right now just being in this one room I can only imagine how it looked like when it was all fixed up now you got this wall peeling. It's probably the most damaged wall here. And I think that's because the sunlight comes through this window and hits it a lot more. This is so cool. This looks like they're doing a march. This kid's riding on a, looks like a tiger. Mm -hmm. Still working. Oh. 
Oh, what? There's a photo here. It kind of looks like a birthday party. Like she's opening her gift. And the song that they would be playing is the Cinderella song. So this is love. Man, I really wish I knew how to play the piano. I've always wanted to just play one of these whenever I come across them in an abandoned building. Been exploring this abandoned mansion for almost three hours. We're about done here. Still gotta check out a few secret rooms. Actually, a couple of secret rooms, and then we're bouncing out. Um, from everything that I've seen, I think the stories might hold true that you know the family could have left. But there's also been documents that I've been seeing for tax evasion. So I think that is the true story of this abandoned mansion and how it got abandoned. Kind of blurred it out because I feel like that's too private. For the most part, I do love this place a lot. I think it's my favorite abandoned mansion I've ever explored in America so far. Historical wise, um, decay wise, and I just love how there's still so many things left in here. And I hope it stays that way for many years to come. This place is in a pretty dangerous neighborhood, so I don't think a lot of people will have the guts to come explore this place so yeah let's hope for the best for this place it's, it's definitely a gem other than that guys um i'm sorry for the lack of videos lately i haven't really been active at all i spent about two weeks since i uploaded a video and i just want to say you know i've been super busy a lot has been going on in my life but i'll be coming out with incredible videos every saturday 6 p.m eastern time again so don't worry, I am back in action. I need you guys to do me a favor though and to make sure the notification button bell is put on um, because it's just how the YouTube algorithm is. If I notice if I'm absent for maybe a week without videos or two weeks, YouTube will start um, taking the notification button bell off for you guys. So please make sure it's on. So make sure it's turned on. Also, Guys, caught the hoodies. We are almost sold out. There's only a few larges and a few medium sizes left. Um, right when we're all sold out of those, I'll be restocking these up. I just want to make sure that um, I have the funds for it because right now, you know, this is a whole new business of mine. I'm using the money that I've made from selling the hoodies to further grow the business and putting out more merch for you guys. So it's with your help to purchase these hoodies that there will be more products in store. Speaking about more products, I have two new things. I'm gonna be selling masks pretty soon, um, cloth masks that you can use to protect yourselves. And I'm gonna be selling some tank tops for this hot summer weather. So yeah, there's a lot to come guys. I also haven't really been live streaming lately and that's because I've been fixing up my basement. I'm living in my parents' basement this year guys. Like because I'm not traveling, I'm just gonna stay with them for this year and explore around America. I had to clean up my basement. It was pretty messy, so uh, I took everything out and we're gonna make it into this really, really nice studio. And I don't wanna live stream until it's done. And it's almost complete. Yeah, that's that. Let's go check out the secret rooms. Now this is one of the secret doors right here. Take a look. Let me close it for you. You can hardly notice that's a secret door oh come on close more Darn it. okay well you get the point it can't fully close right now but if it were you can hardly notice it, it kind of feels like harry potter's room because it's underneath the stairway it smells really bad but i'll show you guys anyway 
Mm, it's just the bathroom. Yeah, someone used it too, so I'm getting out of here. Now this is the main secret room because it actually leads to other rooms. This leads upstairs to the other floors that we were exploring previously. And this is the kitchen. Oh man, everything is inside here. You even got the classic oven right here. I feel like that's a hazard. And look, power is still on, guys. I bet you can turn on this stove, but I don't want to. We don't want to catch anything on fire. Oh, more photos of the same girl. Here's the washer and dryer. Down here is the basement. Well, that's dark. Bro, we can probably turn on the lights though. What lights? There's a switch right here. <laughs> oh no, it's the burner. If there are, uh, the what? It says the burner. It says uh, oil uh, burner. I don't want to turn on. Here, watch. We're good. Oh, I'll lead the way. Have you been all the way down? Yeah, I have. It was sketch. <laughs> <laughs> Going alone? I bet. Not a good idea. Yeah, there's really nothing on that side. But this side, this where you can really walk down. I feel like... Old, uh, roof tiles. Yeah. Right in front of us, actually. Right there for the roof tiles. Yeah, there's some over oh. here, too. Oh, there's something bigger than I thought it was. It goes all the way to the outside. Oh yeah, you're right. Holy shit. Wow, okay. All right. Is there anywhere that leads oh, there? There's actually a way. Maybe through one of these uh, doors. Here, give me some light. Over here. Well, look at that door. It's like a vault door. Oh, it's like, it literally doesn't work anymore. No. No, it's just I, a closet. Yeah, I know, but there's definitely another side to this basement. Probably from the outside. Probably. Wow. Oh, that's really it for here. It's not really too much. Wait, let me climb this. Can you get an actual I'm gonna try to see what's over. Oh man, yeah, there's, it's not even a room. It's like stacks of rocks. Yeah, that's it. We explored everything. Oh, that is so bright. <laughs> Lit everything up. It's gonna bright. <laughs> Blind you? Oh, yeah, actually. It's like a headlight. Like a uh, high beam. It says the lost that's, automatic yeah, telephone that's, the, uh, that's actually the security box right here. It says uh, oh. NAFCA Security Systems Incorporated, and there's the little light. It turns on and off. It's not working. Yeah. Alright, we're heading out guys. We gotta take the main door out. There you go. Freedom. Dude, that's crazy. I know, right? That's the main door too. Alright, we're getting out. Look at this door. Close it, close it, close it. Holy shit. This is really rusty. I'm gonna cut my hands on it. Just, just leave it then. That's good, that's good. All right guys, so made it out. We pretty much explored the entire mansion. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button, bell button, and leave your comments and thoughts down below and share the video. 
Also, make sure to follow us on Instagram, Steve Ronan and right, Jasser Films. You heard the man. Absolutely love That's the it. place. This is a mansion that you'll never see in America with so many That's stuff true. inside. Like, usually the abandoned houses and mansions in America, there's nothing left. So, this is pretty rare. And as you saw, no one really comes here. So, yeah. Hopefully, this place stays pristine throughout the years. It's such a gem. And hands down, the best abandoned mansion I've ever explored in America. But yeah, we're gonna head out now. We're hungry. We came here early so in the morning. Hungry. I mean, we look like a mess right now. We, we woke up pretty early. <laughs> I like, my hair. It's like a fucking tornado. Dude, I, I bet I look so tired on camera. Yeah, me too. Yeah, we're gonna get some McDonald's, you oh, know, some of that yeah. good stuff. More adventures to come, guys. So stay tuned. Live a life, freedom, wander. Cop the hoodies. All right, peace out. Thank you.